I'm Greg Fosshauer from the Illinois Institute of Technology in Chicago. I'm here at the Intel Science Fair in Pittsburgh, representing the American Mathematical Society, and I'm talking to one of the participants in the math competition. I'm Catherine Cordwell. I'm a junior at Manzano High School in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And uh, would you like to tell us a little bit about your project? Of course. So in graph theory, a graph is a set of points and edges connecting those points. And I was working with specific types of graphs, simple multi-partite graphs. And all that means is that the graphs I consider do not have loops, which is an edge connecting a vertex to itself. They do not have multiple edges, meaning that any pair of vertices is connected by at most one edge, and they have levels. So in a level, no two vertices are connected to each other. Your edges flow between your levels. One of these graphs is considered to be complete if all possible edges are present. And if you know your levels, it's fairly easy to determine whether or not such a graph is complete and what your missing edges are. If you don't know your levels, it's a different problem. And that's what I was working with. If you don't know your levels, what you can do, and what I've worked with, is translating your graph into an algebraic structure called a quotient ring. When you work with this algebraic structure, you find related structures called associated primes in order to determine your test ideal. And what I showed is that in certain types of these graphs, your test ideal will actually show what your edge is missing. Thank you. Uh, so how do you find, what's, what's your experience here at this big International Science Fair. I guess you've come up through a number of previous competitions, but what's what's your impression here? Have you had a chance to go around, meet other people, other projects? Uh, give us a little bit of that impression. It's very inspiring because I'm just seeing all these incredible projects in so many different fields. And even though I love math, I still appreciate looking at all the different categories. This morning I was looking at chemistry and I saw all these projects dealing with cancer and I'm just thinking this is so relevant. These people are discovering things that are going to help this world in the future.